Hi everybody, in this video we're going to change it up a bit and I'm going to show you how to import a model from Blender to Unity. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to import this donut model that I made. Uh, this donut I made with the help of a tutorial from uh, Blender Guru or Guru. So uh, I'll leave a link to his channel below so you guys could check him out if you guys want to try to replicate this donut. But uh, let's get started. So what I usually do is, first of all, I'll get out of camera mode and then I'll turn everything on my scene off so they won't be visible except for the model that I want to export, which uh, will be this donut. After that, I will select everything. So uh, just drag and select everything or click A. And then once you have everything selected, go to file, go to export, and you could export it as the default DAE. Dot DAE or FBX that's what I usually use dot FBX so I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna export it to the regular uh, file so what you would do is you would go to your project whatever project you want to export it to uh, mine is gonna be the new 2d tutorial project that I have uh, let me show you real quick this is the name of it new to 2d tutorial and then um, I'm gonna export this donut package into the assets of it and I'll just leave it right here in the regular assets and then I'll hit export. Sorry about that. Let's go back. So we'll go to export FBX and before we even export this, all these will be highlighted. So it will kind of look like this and, uh, and we'll go, we'll start from main. So on main, what I do is I click selected objects because as uh, we did earlier, we selected all the objects we wanted to export and then uh, we could select geometry if you have any modifiers you could apply modifiers or you could uncheck this if you don't have any modifiers armature this will be checked so you could uncheck this since we don't have any leaf bones of course if you do uh, leave this checked and animations this will be checked as well and of course if you have any animations leave this checked but if you don't uncheck it and then we'll go back to main and here on main all we're going to care about is the empty we're not going to care about the camera, the lamp, the armature, none of this, unless you have armature. We're going to click on mesh and other. So uh, you click on it and you hold shift and click on the other one. Hold shift and click on the next one. And then we're going to go to the one that I accidentally exported. And I'm going to hit export. And then it's going to export to the file. So if I go back to Unity, we're going to see we have the donor right here. And I could just, you know, if I go to scenes, I could just add it to the scene. And as you can see, if I add a directional light, because I don't have one app, you can see the donut. I actually exported the sprinkles as well. So make sure you just get the object you want. Export, uh, selected objects, your donut, export, go back to it. This is what I wanted to show you. So sometimes your model will end up like this. As you can see the donut, if I drag it in and I drag it up to, or I zoom in to where we can see it, our donut is rotated. So if I actually put zero, it looks like the picture. And then the scale is at 100, 100, 100. Now, some people might not want this. Some people might want the scale to be one, one, and one, just cause of um, whatever reason, maybe they have their whole project scaled to one, 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 and they don't want to mess it up. So what you could do is, this is uh, completely experimental. So just know that it might not work. Like for this donut, when I noticed the donut worked, but the sprinkles didn't work uh, completely. So what you could do is you go to file, export again, FBX, but this time hit experimental, apply transform. And now when we export it, we go back, we can see the donut's picture has changed. So now when we drag it up or drag it in, we'll be able to see the donut and it's at one, 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 the scale now, and the rotation is at zero, zero, zero. So you could see it applies the scale and the rotations, but you could see that my sprinkles have completely disappeared. Even though I have the sprinkles here, they have completely disappeared. The reason for that I'm guessing is that the sprinkles are too small. So let's see, I made a little bigger. Now let me, yeah, see, I'm guessing that the, the sprinkles might be a little too small. So as you can see, yeah, they're, they're way too small. So that's why this is happening. And now we could, see the sprinkle so it did work for my main model 
but for these little sprinkles that did not work applying that transform so just play around with it see what works for you what doesn't and then another thing I want to show you real quick is okay so I have these materials I'm gonna delete them real quick and now we have this donut pro uh, this donut and when we click the arrow we have all these materials but we can't change any of these settings and the reason for that is that when we click donut project and we go to the materials tab they have this materials and it has extract materials what you would do is you would create a folder for your materials like I did here so just right click create folder and then name your folder to whatever you want and then uh, go back to your donut click extract materials it's going to ask where you want to extract it to I'm going to hit the, the folder that I created which is donut materials and I'm going to select it and then it's going to start extracting all the materials and then when I go to donut materials here's all the materials that I have and now I will be able to change it so let's say I wanted to change this icing so I could go to this black material and I could just change the icing to you know whatever I would like so if I want a pink icing or any kind of icing I wanted to I could change the metallic the smoothness uh, pretty much everything I wanted to change I could change it here so as you can see uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for uh, exporting your models to unity if you guys like this video if you guys have any questions or comments let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see any video any sort of video in advance because i'm gonna try to cover everything that i can just let me know in the comments and i'll cover this this video was actually recommended by a viewer they wanted to see how to export it so if you guys want to see a certain video as well just let me know in the comments and i'll try to you know i'll record that video as soon as possible so once again thank you